Hello everyone. I mentioned in our weekly chat that I have piled up a backlog of unboxings. I have three waiting. Not only a backlog of games, but now of unboxings as well. So I guess I better get cracking. But before we do today's, I have a quick note, an amendment, something that Mishi told me I needed to say. And that is to do with the last unboxing I did, which was for Märchen Forest. Now, at the time, in that video, I mentioned that the publisher is called Clouded Leopard and that I wasn't really familiar with them. Well, you should have heard Mishy afterwards. He said, how can you not know Clouded Leopard? So I have to correct that. Mishy made some notes. Thank you, Mishy. A Clouded Leopard are currently working with Falcom on helping to bring the newest game in the Legend of Heroes series to the West. And that new one is called Hajimari no Kisuki, or Trails of Creation. And it is scheduled to come here to us in the West in the summer of this year. So they're helping with bringing that game over to the Switch and PC here. It was already published last year in Japan, so I assume it's a, it's a porting job. So a Clouded Leopard appears to be uh, one of the partners that Falcon work with, and I just wanted to mention that because it strikes me that for a very, very small indie developer to get their first game taken under the wing by what appears to be an experienced and valued um, publisher is quite an achievement. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Mishi. I hope I've done that well. Yeah, to today's game. It's a small game, another indie game, but it calls itself proudly a collector's edition. So in order to have a better look, I will, as usual, with my trusty German cheese knife, get the cellophane off. And here we are. This is the, um, the back of the box. I decided to get this edition because it is not terribly expensive. Uh, so I thought I might as well. I was rather taken when I viewed some of the initial um, trailers with this little uh, plucky mouse character who is the hero of the game. And I'll just tell you briefly about the game. It is set in a dark medieval fantasy world and you control Tilo, a small mouse minstrel, who must make his way through dungeons and lands full of danger while uncovering mysteries of the past. Now that sounds rather like my sort of thing. Adventure, exploration, danger, little mouse with a loot or something. Let's have a look. The box says that in the edition is included a, an art book, an original soundtrack, an enamel pin badge, character card said, paper craft figure. Quite a lot. So first of all the game, I'll quickly unwrap. And the back of the um, case. And there's simply the disc inside. Ghost of a Tale is described as an independent action role-playing game. I know it has some stealth elements in it. I picked that up. And it was developed almost single-handedly by one developer called Lionel Gallard, who is apparently a very well-known animator 
he used to work at DreamWorks for many years and worked on a lot of movies there. So you can imagine what sort of expertise he will have brought to the game. Now here we have a little pin. Oh yes, there he is. Oh, it's, it's tiny, but I hope you can see that it is the little Tilo Mouse character holding his loot. He really is tiny. That is one pin that could get very easily lost. And here we have the art book, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. Oh, paper craft. And the soundtrack. So I assume the job will be to put this little paper craft figure together. See the little loot. And that is presumably what he should look like when he's finished, assuming you put it all together correctly. <laughs> so I mentioned that this is the work, again, a bit like Mersion Forest, of mainly one person with obviously a lot of expertise in making movies, so I would have high expectations of the artwork in the game. And the game has a quite a long history already. It was funded successfully via an Indiegogo campaign, which ran April, May 2013. And then an early version of the game was released in 2016 for PC and Xbox One as part of Microsoft's Indie Developer Program. The final PC version came out in 2018 and on PS4 the release date was exactly two years ago, March 2019, and it was released for the Switch in October last year. So let's have a look at the art book. I'll just first check that there isn't uh, anything very story related. There's a very nice note from the developer, a foreword at the beginning. And here are two very early digital paintings of Tilo the Mouse. And what I really like is that each picture, each image has a little bit of text with it explaining the background, what they were trying to achieve. And here you see a bit more of Tilo the Mouse already further advanced and 3D. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There are even some photos of the London Symphony Orchestra recording the soundtrack for the game, or several soundtracks anyway. There is a lot in this book. There really is. It, it's, it's brimful of really interesting and exciting drawings, images, photos, sketchbook stuff. For anyone interested in uh, game development and for, for people learning the craft, I would think this could be really of interest. It's a dangerous world out there for a little mouse. One hundred and two pages, very nicely printed, very high quality, beautifully done. Poodle Pound, I will listen to the soundtrack a bit later. I unfortunately couldn't uh, put it on at the moment. Uh, we'll have to rejig our equipment. A cute little paper craft figure. And 
it just says character art set. Then we have Tilo. Silas Wankstaff. Rolo the Smithy. Commander Gartic. I always find it encouraging if even before I start a game I already like the names. Carol Red Whiskers. Ravik of Migla. Lady Dwinlan. And Faustus Rot. And Gusto and Fatale. And there you have everything in Ghost of a Tale Collector's Edition, including one very lovely and extremely tiny enamel pin, as befits a very small mouse. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. It's bye-bye from me and Michi.